Alright guys, um, there are a lot of videos on original Xboxes on how to uh, upgrade your hard drive, but mm, a, only a couple talk about how to use SATA hard drives, and the ones that do are so vague, and I find that even when I first did it, and a lot of people, you've got to buy like four or five adapters until you figure out which ones work, because no one says anything, but I found out the trick, and I'm going to show you how. And also, because these adapters are cheap, and like people do like to avoid them, I'm also going to show you how not to uh, set your Xbox on fire. And yes, that has happened before, so please proceed with caution. Alright, now, here's the thing with these adapters. Alright, is there any, like, anything from $2.50 to $4 from Hong Kong, Australian dollars? Um... Live in the US or UK or whatever, just uh, I'm assuming you can figure out how much it is and just order it from Hong Kong as well because they're cheap and it's worth the wait. Okay, so the important thing about these adapters is for the Xbox, they need to have these slave headers, slave master headers. It's so necessary. If you don't have it, it won't work. And if it does work, the DVD drives won't work or you have problems with your DVD drive. Um, and also these two capacitors here, it's like, I don't understand, but for some reason, whenever you're buying these, if you find them with this pin header, the, the two capacitors, just look at that, look at like the way it's, the mother was laid up with all the chips and stuff, if you find a photo, that's the exact layout as that, I know you're probably thinking like, well, why does it have to be exactly that, but just trust me, if you get that this layout, it will work. If it's not, it won't. Like, I've played with a couple of other adapters. Um, I ha I played with another one that didn't have a pin header. I got it to work, but the DVD drive doesn't work in there anyway, so it's like, all good. But, yeah, I, I always use these, and I, I will put a link in the description. And if there comes a time where the link doesn't work and the cell is relisted or whatever, that's just something to take note of how it looks if it is like this, it will work. But a precaution to make, because they're only two dollars, it's all, always a good idea. If you're a bit cautious, buy like three of them, and then if one doesn't work, then you'll have another. Okay, and that's an, and another thing with those. I can't unfortunately do a full video today. I'm just going to do show you guys, give you guys these tips, and then you can go to another video and watch Chimp or Xbox HDM. I'll make my own sooner or later. Um, this is an 80 wire IDA cable. You can tell the difference because it looks really slick. Um, the original Xbox ones look really weird. And, uh, um, what the fuck is that? Ghosts, paper airplanes, what? <laughs> okay, yeah. They just, it was, these IDA cables just really thin and, um, uh, you can tell, you just look at them and, and you... I'll just show you, I've got the original Xbox down here. You can see... Um, you can cut, they're, they're really wiry, and, and these are like, so thin that you can't really do that on these. Anyway, um, yeah, so you, so you need an 80 watt cable for this to run, otherwise you'll get an error 16, because it will read it. But it just won't uh, be able to boot because it can't get to it fast enough. Sometimes they do if they're if they're like a three hundred gigabyte hard drive, but otherwise they won't. Um, and okay, and with another thing with these adapters because as I said they're so cheap. So to avoid fires, you're probably wondering um, where I was going to with that. The uh, one terabyte that I have here, the Seagate, um, it can't really notice it. It won't likely with it's most likely with these you'll be fine. Cause see? It doesn't the the power connectors don't don't hit up with, with the metal bits, which set which can set the fire and I broke a couple of hard drives before and uh naughty me I did break a two terabyte hard drive, I took it back, they sent it to Seagate, I got another one, which 
was awesome and I was like two years old which was even better so it was like dead anyway <laughs> um, but if you're using an older, uh, uh, older hard drive older, C, uh, older uh, SATA it's it can touch it can make contact and make us make a circuit and then it will um, it, it, it will it will uh, spark up your Xbox will turn off your Xbox will probably be fine but your hard drive will, will be fucked and so will the adapter so you need to insulate it you need to get some tape duct tape cut in half or electrical tape even sticky tape is fine it's just, just as long as it will stay there so just quickly stick that off Is it, you don't even need to really cover the RGE cables, I'll do it anyway. The RGE connection with the power ATX connection, Molex, it's absolutely necessary, you need to do that. If you buy a more expensive adapter, and imagine if you spend like 20 bucks on a proper adapter from a store, if you can find them anymore, I imagine that they'll work fine. But they're also a bit bulky and they don't really fit in the Xbox properly. But these are really nice and as long as you have this tape on it, you don't have any problems with them at all. Alright, so I got that on. Now, you can go and watch another video. Or my video when it eventually, I eventually get time to do it. Because I don't do these too much anymore. And do some chimp. Or Xbox HGM. I'd I know it's going to be hard because it's 2016. You don't own a PC with IDE. Boo hoo. Go and get one because Chimp is nasty and it's so easy to just for everything to go to shit. And if you do want to risk it, please just back up your EE prom, put it on your computer, FTP it to your computer, and then have a fuck around. And then when the 60% uh, chance of everything going to shit and you have to fix it, you will be able to fix it. So, um, yeah, so now you know what to do and you can go get a tutorial and you don't have to go hunting for an ID hard drive and you can have a nice big one terabyte or two terabyte. That's another thing before, before I end this video. Can't go higher than two terabyte. Doesn't work. It, it It's a... It's it's like with most computers. I don't think that any the standard BIOS until like 2011 or something you can't use anything bigger than two terabyte. It just doesn't work. Yeah, and I think the Xbox file system can't handle any bigger than that anyway. So even if you can get around it, it won't work or it only read as two terabyte. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that other people do, doing um, these upgrading videos will start doing uh, side of hard drives and actually telling them the right ones to buy as descriptive as I can. Uh, subscribe, don't subscribe, I don't give a fuck, I just ho hope um, I helped you out because that's what I care about and that's why I did the video. So, have a good dawn. Ha! Huh. <laughs>